Well, come on in now. I'm sorry. I, well, I'm sorry. I should just... I, I had a lot of... Uh, I had a small bag of Doritos this afternoon. Okay, Ray, I'll, I'm sorry. I have to let you know. When I went grocery shopping, I bought a small bag of Doritos and I ate them all in the car, in the van. <sighs> it feels so it feels so good to get that off my chest. Well, I want to thank you all for joining me, Lord Zippy Blaine, the Duke of the goddamn motherfucking Delridge. You are an honored guest at happy hour at the Wicker Bar. Here in beautiful West Seattle, we are broadcasting live on the shores of the Longfellow Creek. And this evening, being such as a beautiful, glorious day here in Seattle, Washington, up here in the green, 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 green Pacific Northwest, we're in here. Trader Vic's book of food and drink. Even though there's lots of drinks in here, not just one drink. And I just have to read you a little something that um, I'm not really sure if these are were, were Trader Vic Bergeron, if these were his words, or if these if these were the words of uh, Lucius Baby, who uh, did the. Uh, oh, it was Trader Vic. So, and this was this was this book came out in 1946. That was a long time ago. That's when they had books. You know, they're kind of becoming a rarity now, taking them off the shelves and everything. So. For people that enjoy a cocktail, this is kind of what it's all about here, because I know some people have a little bit of trouble with it. Dedicated to those merry souls who make eating and drinking a pleasure, who achieve contentedness long before capacity. That's the trick. You can't drink every night like it's Friday night. Okay, remember that. And who, whenever they drink, prove able to carry it, right? Enjoy it. And remain gentle men or gentle women. I ended. I added the gentle women in there because there's a little, there's some some verbiage in here that's f from the time, not necessarily. So it ju that just means, you know what it means. You know what I'm talking about. Um, the cocktail that we're making this evening is called the Huapala. Now, once again, there's some wording here that might not be the appropriate. And just remember the, the one word that's in here, it's a very descriptive word. This means for somebody who's not very um, manly, there's maybe a lot very handy around the house, somebody that doesn't know how to swing a hammer or, or chop some wood or, uh, you know, put gas in the tank. Don't let the grenadine pull any wool over your eyes. This is no sissy drink. Okay? I hope that's okay, right? That's what they said back then. So, Hua Hua Pala from Trader Vic's book of food and drink. So, this is definitely um, not for the faint of heart. We have uh, some uh, white rum here. <clears throat> we have some gin. We have some lemon juice. And I don't know what he's talking about, about the, about the grenadine. It's like three dashes of grenadine, so... I mean, that's barely going to temper it at all. Um, so what I've done here for this this cocktail this evening, because we want kind of something a little bit a long a long sipper. If I just did the exact um, the exact measurements that, that are in the book, that'd just be it'd be a little too short. And then, you know, I have a craving for something else. Um, but I I'm keeping it under control. I'm gonna make. What are you looking at? Eyes over here, up here. So don't you you know. Rail's got a one-track mind, one to a two-track. Okay, um, so we're gonna go um. Rum, gin, lemon juice, little few squiggles of a uh, of grenadine. So here we go. So I've I've tripled the recipe. So we are gonna do two and a quarter ounces of rum. Once again, the Kingston sixty-two that we imported from Mexico City. Just want everybody to know that. There's our two. I'm gonna get a quarter. Here we go. Let's just go over here. There we go. There's our two and a quarter of our Kingston 62. And then we're gonna go uh, two and a quarter ounces of gin.
And if anybody happens to be watching this, watching this episode, and you came to see uh, the rock and roll band, the Accused AD, as we played Reno, Sacramento, and the lovely city of San Francisco, um, thank you very much uh, for coming out and uh, supporting us. It was a uh, it was a lovely time, very very lovely. Um, then we're gonna go one and a half ounces of lemon juice. Language of this singing in there, um, and then three dashes of grenadine. One, two, three. There we go. And Rail did take this cocktail. I did have some uh, an array of cocktails that were in the uh, Trader Vic book that we were going to do, and she uh, picked this one. So if it's not good, you know who to blame. Okay, so don't come, don't come, don't come knocking on my door. Don't come knocking on my door. This is one of those fine books that I got years ago at a thrift store. Good luck. Good luck finding them now. At least not for what I... I hate it when that happens. I mean, I, I just like it when that happens. Nice pink hue. Lovely. Rail, would you care to join me? Let's see. What do we got going on here? Hua Pala. Probably could have used a little bit more grenadine, I think. You know, me the lemon always always kicks through kicks through a little bit, but that is like pure beauty, pure booze right there. Um, well, <clears throat> thank you all. And if you haven't already, just take a moment. You know, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification button so you know when we're doing new videos. You know, I've been uploading some uh, accused AD live stuff, courtesy of John Aguilar. Has been he's been down there in the trenches shooting shooting video shooting video um the stuff that he just did at the lucky liquor was 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 pretty good i really, I really enjoyed that um but you know thanks a lot thank you for all the support that you've, you've given us now for almost three years that we've been here at the liquor bar and it's been very beautiful to be able to share this time with you while you're in your home on your television on the bus you're watching this on your on your telephone wherever you happen to be um we're always here with you and just remember that um, but a tree what a name of the tinkling of the odds I'm out of here I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna make some dinner peace out until next time